Hey there, welcome back to another What's In My Bag field trips. Today we have driven down to uh, an area called Fuji Yoshida, which is at the base of Mount Fuji. It's actually probably 10 kilometers away from where I'm gonna shoot. Uh, but basically it's this uh, street view that ends uh, in Mount Fuji. Uh, I think you're gonna need to use a 70 to 200 to kind of bring Mount Fuji a bit closer. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna head out to a little hike out near Kawaguchiko, and we're gonna go see this shrine. So I got the Explore 25, uh, kind of a good little bag for this, good for the hike, and uh, nice uh, for this little urban environment. And then I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. If I can get everything I want done today, I'm probably gonna start driving back uh, about two hours to an area in Chino where there's another place I want to shoot. And uh, if that all works out, I'll camp there or I'll camp here. And uh, the next day I will stop in Chino and uh, we'll shoot that other shot. So this is our spot. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these signs I'm gonna show you right now. There's another one there, another there, another there. And another over there. So this area is definitely heavily photographed. Uh, I kind of wanted to shoot down the side streets a bit anyhow, so I'm gonna take a little walk. You can see right now, maybe uh, Fuji's actually in the clouds. So I will uh, wander around a bit and see if I can find some other stuff. So there's a couple of neat doors right here. Uh, this one, not as exciting, but definitely has some style and character to it. But this one here is uh, really cool. I don't know, it's just uh, it's decaying, but it's got your nice herringbone uh, pattern up top. And then this just looks like, I don't know, it almost looks illustrated, but definitely cool. Grab a quick picture of that while I'm wandering. So I found this little alleyway. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but this angle is got this old house that's kind of lopsided at the end of it. So let's try and shoot that while we're here. Looks like a cute little Italian restaurant. So I just realized I've been walking around here with no mask on. And I got a tripod in my hand, GoPro in the other. And I probably look like a complete tourist. So well, I'm gonna go back and get my mask and uh, restart. Unfortunately, Fuji, uh, the top is still in the clouds, even though it's a glorious sunny day. Uh, again, we'll probably have to wait it out a little bit, but that will just give me some time to explore, like right down this alley. Now uh, there's a lot of little Japanese bars just by the pricing and the name Cinderella Lounge. I'm gonna guess that uh, some ladies of the night work here. So I'm just gonna go look and try and find some friendly angles where hopefully there's not so much traffic around. Uh, maybe a tighter little alleyway, kind of like this one. Fuji is uh, in the distance there. Yeah, we'll keep looking. Seems I should have come here at night. A little cool uh, alleyway with some bars. Chinchiki under renovation. Looks like there's a little Caribbean music bar here. Caribbean music bar links. 
chassis base. Okay, so long story short here, I had some bad luck out at Fuji. A big cloud got worse and worse around the top of Fuji and if there's a cloud around the top of Fuji, it's the visual uh, equal of uh, just a mound of dirt really. So I kind of shut that down and then uh, I went and just checked this one other spot uh, which I thought was going to be a hike to and it turns out I could just drive there. And so I drove there and that place turned into be quite a tourist spot where what I'd seen in images before looked really nice was actually wood chip paths and uh, just not very interesting visually. Uh, the light was very good because it was the middle of the day so I just kind of made an executive decision and decided to start driving back and I'm gonna try and hit this area which is called Narajuku which uh, I just drove through the main part of town which I didn't expect either but it looks amazing. The light's pretty even because it's uh, just before sunset so I'm gonna try that out. Thankfully I've got my bike because the only parking I saw is here and it's really far from uh, where I need to go. It's not that far but far enough that uh, with the amount of time I have I'd rather uh, take my bicycle. So just a quick look at what I have in here today. I've got a 70 to 200 and I've also got my uh, a7 with 24 to 70. I've got that in a small mirrorless core unit. I've got some remotes in here, a little a couple of GoPro accessories. Uh, in my laptop sleeve, I do have the Bomber Mafia. So I'm planning on spending some time in the tent tonight, but I'm just gonna go home after this, uh, I think. And I'll put that in there. And up top, I don't usually do this, but there's an image I wanna take. Uh, I've got my 16 to 28. I'm just putting it in the top right now. I've got another t-shirt. I do have a external monitor in here just in case I happen to use that. I don't think I will but I'm going to bring it anyways. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to use this for a specific shot I want to take, kind of like a POV shot uh, down the street with uh, accessing my camera bag. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've also got a shell in here. I've actually got my belt in here and I've got a shell in here too so I'm going to switch the placement around there and put my shell here and that's it. Pretty light load right now. I've got my travel tripod right here and uh, yeah let's go before the sun does. Throw my wallet in here so I don't lose it. And I'm thankful So quiet. I think I lucked out. I'm so glad I found you the old fashioned way. In a time when we want it. so fast that it takes no time to call I'm just gonna wait for the uh, food delivery guy to leave and then I'm gonna shoot down this hallway here I'll do a selfie after too while I'm here. Kind of hard to time the traffic so it's not too cluttered in the frame. There's that one K truck that's parked right there. So just having uh, a person or another car in the frame kind of makes it a little too busy. But uh, yeah, pretty happy uh, I decided to come here tonight rather than wait it out till tomorrow morning. 
I can now go to my baseball game that's at 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow and then after I should be able to get almost a full day's worth of work in behind the computer and uh, yeah all right I'm gonna keep moving try and find some more shots Now, of course, one of the best parts of Japan is the vending machine with beer and highballs. Unfortunately, I have to drive home, so I won't be uh, a consumer of this machine tonight, but maybe another time. I don't know if it's just this town, but uh, it is so calm and peaceful. Uh, it is a uh, early summer's evening. Temperature is really nice, perfectly cool. Oh wow, it's just so chill. I mean, on Saturday it's probably a nightmare here, but if you're me right now, midweek or midweek Thursday, it's just perfect. Alright, so GPS is an hour and 52 minutes to get back home, which is welcome by me. So I think I'm going to wrap this little video up and uh, focus on the drive home. Uh, overall, a uh, day that wasn't going so well ended pretty good. Uh, pretty happy I came here. Our bags are definitely built for more extreme activity. But uh, especially the, the, this new Explore line, uh, one of the beauties of it is it really fits in in a place like this. I mean, the black with the leather details, it, it's almost like it was designed for this town, just by coincidence. But it does have a good uh, urban vibe. All right, well, that's it. Time to hit the road. <laughs>